friends, welcome to Lake Point Kids Online Family Experience. I'm Miss Rachel, and it's nice that you stopped by, but I feel I should warn you that I'm feeling a little bit cranky today. Something happened to me today, and I'm upset. I came to the church this morning, bright and early, only there was a problem. The doors were locked, so I reached into my pocket to pull up my keys, and guess what? They weren't there. I had let Pastor Nathan borrow them yesterday, and he forgot to give them back to me. So I was stuck outside and I couldn't get in. I was not happy. It was cold and I had so many things I needed to do inside the building. I had to wait a whole 20 minutes until someone else came with keys who could let me in. Whoa, Miss Rachel, you sound really upset. I'm sure it was just an accident though. <sighs> Pastor Nathan should have remembered. Well, don't you remember the time when I gave you my keys and you forgot to give them back? It was last week and I forgave you, didn't I? Oh yeah, um, I guess I forgot about that. Uh, Pastor Ethan, you know what, you're right. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes and I'm very thankful you forgave me and so I know I need to forgive Pastor Nathan too. I'm sorry friends that you saw me cranky. I guess I got carried away. Will you forgive me? Thank you. I know how good it feels when someone forgives me, and so I'm going to be quick to forgive Pastor Nathan. Everyone make mistakes, but I can show love to people no matter what, just like Jesus shows love to me. Today in our story, there's a lady who had made mistakes in the past, and she was so thankful that Jesus forgave her, she did something really special. Let's go learn more about that right now.
Oh no! What could have happened? It looks like my friend Luca left the door open. A squirrel must have gotten in and chewed up my box of candy hearts. That squirrel made a mess everywhere. I'm so mad at Luca for leaving the little door open. This mess is all his fault. I'm not going to invite Luca to my party anymore. There are candy hearts everywhere. Be mine, sweetheart. Love you. I should change these to read mad. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? Let a squirrel in, did you? Hi, Ollie. Luca is the one who left the door open. Now everything is messed up. We all make mistakes. It's true. Jesus teaches there's something we can do. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hola, friends. It's good to see you. My name is Luis, the handyman. <laughs> I was just fixing this box for my nephew. He collected so many candy hearts that the lid broke off. Oh, but look at this. Look what's on the inside of the lid. It says, Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. Jesus loves you and you and you. Which reminds me of our story today. Do you want to help me build it? Oh, great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay. So, today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. One day, an important teacher invited Jesus to his house for dinner. Many people came to the dinner, and they were around the table with Jesus, eating and talking. Then, a woman who was not invited walked in, carrying a bottle of perfume. This woman had made a lot of wrong choices, so the important teacher did not think she should be at the dinner. But she had heard that Jesus was going to be there. She knew Jesus loved her, and she wanted to see him. The woman went to Jesus and started crying. <laughs> she was crying because she knew Jesus loved her no matter what. The woman was so thankful that Jesus loved her that she wanted to do something special for him. So she washed Jesus' feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. She poured a special perfume on his feet because she loved Jesus so much and was so thankful for him. The important teacher was <gasps> so surprised. He thought Jesus should stay away from the woman. He said, Jesus, you don't know what she's done. But Jesus did know everything the woman had done. And he knew how sorry she was. He could see how much the woman loved him. So Jesus smiled at her and said, Woman, you are forgiven. Now go in peace. Jesus forgave the woman for the bad choices she'd made. And he loved her anyway. Jesus loves you no matter what too. There is absolutely nothing you could ever do to make Jesus stop loving you. Jesus loves you, and he wants to be your friend forever. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? Jesus loves me. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loved the woman no matter what. And Jesus loves you and me, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, 
Jesus forgave the woman even though she had done wrong things. Jesus loved her no matter what. Jesus loves and forgives us too, no matter what. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Jesus loves and forgives me, so I can love and forgive others too. Even though I am mad about the mess, I love Luca and I forgive him. And I definitely want him at the hearts party. See you next time. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. Ephesians 3.18 Jesus was invited to a dinner at a very important teacher's house. While Jesus was there, a lady who wasn't invited showed up. This lady hadn't been invited because she had made some really bad choices, some really big mistakes in the past. But this lady had learned that even though she had done wrong things, Jesus still loved her. She was so excited she wanted to see Jesus and thank him. She went to the party and washed Jesus' feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. Then she put some fancy perfume on his feet. The important teacher was not too happy this lady had come to the party because he thought she had done too many wrong things to be loved by Jesus. But Jesus knew this lady was sorry and loved him. Jesus loved this lady too, even with the bad choices she had made and forgave the lady for all those things. Jesus loves you too, friends, no matter what you've done. There is nothing you can do that makes Jesus stop loving you. Jesus wants to be your friend forever and he will always love you. Today, friends, I want you to practice our memory verse. Use your feet to jump across the room, and as you jump, say our verse. Then use your feet to skip, and as you skip, say our verse. Then use your feet to dance, and as you dance, say our verse. Parents, now's the time to either scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the LakePoint app to build our online connection card. Signing our guest book lets us know who is watching and helps us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest LakePoint initiatives and opportunities. So, friends, while your parents are busy doing that, why don't you practice your somersaults? Kids online family experiences on our YouTube channel or on our LakePoint app in the family resources section. Friends, I'm so glad you tuned in today. I'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Remember, Jesus loves you.